Hey there, so welcome back to the final part of this compute, which is Docker and Kubernetes on Azure. Before I tell you Docker and Kubernetes, let me quickly tell you the background. So earlier till, uh, till I think probably 2014-15, you were deploying your applications on something called as virtual machines. Now, virtual machines is you have a physical server. On top of that, you install hypervisor. Now, again, I'm not going to go to detail because I want to keep it high level. Hypervisor is the one which will provide you necessary infrastructure to run multiple machines of different operating system on the same hardware. Um, so on using a hypervisor, you can create multiple virtual machines and deploy your applications. But the challenge with that is that um, the virtual machines use a lot of disk space or a lot of CPU and memory. So they are very um, resource hungry. Moreover, the operating system itself um, takes a lot of time and they take a lot of time to boot up and they're not true for, or they're not perfect for the new world of deploying applications that's using microservices. And this is where the containers come handy. We call containers where what you have is use a physical server or a virtual machine. On top of that, you install an operating system. And on top of that operating system, you have a container runtime, like Docker is one of the container runtime. There are other container platforms as well. And on that container, you run multiple or on that container runtime, you run multiple containers and each container will have a microservice with all its dependencies. So that's container or Docker. Now, the advantage with Docker or container, I'm using word Docker and container interchangeably, uh, but Docker is one of the type of containers. You have different type of containers or different container options. Now, the advantage with containers are that they are our storage is very minimal. The memory and CPU they use to run the operating or run that runtime is quite small. The footprint for that is small. The application might take a little bit more or, or depending on how memory or CPU hungry that application is, but the resource it takes to run that application or underlying resources or operating system level resources are very light. Also, the if you see the memory it will be in MBs and it takes few seconds or um, under a second just to start up uh, containers. So that is the background of virtual machine and containers. Now containers grew over a period of time and in order to manage these containers you need some container orchestration tool and this is where this Kubernetes or K8S where Kubernetes word has eight letters in the middle. So you have uh, Kubernetes. There are other container orchestration tools like Mesos or Docker Swarm are there, but Kubernetes is quite famous. And that gives us two things. One is container runtime, which is Docker and, Kuber and a container orchestration tool like Kubernetes and implementation of that container or Docker and implementation of Kubernetes on cloud or Azure cloud is your Azure container instance and Azure container service, Azure Kubernetes service respectively. So you have as Kubernetes implementation on Azure, which is Azure Kubernetes service, the container implementation on Azure is Azure Container Instance or ACI. Now, these containers run using something called as images and images are stored in a registry, which is called as Azure Container Registry. You might have heard of source code if you're coming from a development background, you store your data, like uh, your code into a source code like Git or GitHub. Similar to that, your images through which your containers run are run using or are stored in Azure Container Registry or Container Registry. So these are the three options you have Azure Container Registry to store containers, images. Your containers are the runtime of containers are ACI and then management is using Kubernetes. So these are the three options you have, which is Azure Container Registry, Azure container instance and Azure Kubernetes service. Now, um, if you're part of Azure DevOps, AZ400, Azure administration or Azure solution architect, we probably will be going deeper into these topics. So this is my um, um, Azure portal. And this is where I'll going to say first Azure container instance or registry. So your uh, registry, the, the one which you said Azure Container Registry, you will search for registries and you see container registries and you can go and create a container registry. I already have a container registry which we created for DP100. Again, DP100 is for data science and data science workload can run on containers and this, uh, the images for that container runtime are stored here. 
similarly if i see container instances so this is my container implementation on azure which is my docker containers i can start and i can quickly start my containers here similarly i'll go and now this is where my um, my container um, in order to start the container you use an image and in this case i'm using an image which is a default image which is coming from which can come from different sources which in this case if i need to pick it from my azure container registry i'll select it here now third one as i said is kubernetes so i'll collect and say kubernetes service and i'll quick click on kubernetes and i can create a kubernetes instance on cloud now what is kubernetes it's a big topic on itself um, again we cover we have a dedicated separate program uh, which is called as docker and kubernetes where we cover certified kubernetes administrator certification which is from cloud native computing foundation cncf uh, but whatever you need to um, run kubernetes on uh, azure um, you'll be looking at in the respective program depending on which program you are part of so just to recap uh, the third option or whatever fourth option to run your uh, compute workload is using docker and kubernetes on azure which is azure container instance and azure kubernetes service so just to do a quick recap you have the first of compute that you have com within compute service you have virtual machines then you have second option is you have your app services we also called as web apps which uh, you, uh, which is a http based hosting web services or hosting applications or application different type of applications your functions you have logic app and then you have containers and kubernetes on azure which is aci and aks now in the next lesson we are going to look at networking so i'll see you in next lesson well this was our Azure Cloud Expert, Mr. Atul from Team K21 Academy, and this clip was taken from our free course for Azure Beginners. Even if you're a beginner, this course will give you a holistic overview of Azure Cloud, Azure DevOps, Azure Data, Azure Security, and whatnot. And if you're already working on Azure Cloud, then this course will help you to revise your basic concepts. In order to subscribe to this course, all you have to do is just go to k21academy.com forward slash Azure and subscribe to this course. And within 50 minutes, you'll be getting an email. Under that, you'll be getting your login credentials and our WhatsApp group where you can ask your every doubt related to Azure Cloud. Thank you, and I will see you in the free course.